Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here is your five minute tip for this week. I just learned how to do bulk uploading in Canva and I'm very excited and I'm passing it on. So what that is, is let's say you wanna do a certificate or a flyer or a handout or really anything that you have text in and you want it to be personalized. How can I do that by just uploading a CSV file? I'm gonna do a certificate right now. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to Canva and go ahead and build whatever I am looking to build. So for example, if I'm looking for a certificate, I'll just go ahead and get one. I already have one here ready to go. Then I'm going to make sure that my data is in a CSV file. So if I come, if I'm using Google Sheets, I can come to File, Download, CSV. If I am using Excel, I can come to File, Save As, and make it a CSV, which I've already done, so I'm ready to go. Oh, I didn't need to do that, but yep, ready to go. All right, so now I'm here, and what you want to do is just go ahead and build out whatever you're doing. So go ahead and put your text boxes. Um, like, I want I want my people's names to be right here, so I can really just leave this. Or if it makes you feel better, just put, you, know, you really can just leave this, I promise. Uh, but if it makes you feel better, you can put like template or name or sample or something like that. But go ahead and fill out, like I want my name here yay and things like that so i think i spelled my name wrong but there you go um so go ahead and do everything that you need to do to it and then what you want to do is to come to apps and then scroll down and go to bulk create so bulk create i can enter manually which is kind of cool so if i didn't have a csv file i can come here and kind of build it right here I just double click and type and then if I want to add text, I can say, you know, instructor, or whatever. Um, and there you go. And then I'm going to just do the CSV file. So upload CSV. And I'm just going to go ahead and upload this file. Then it's going to show me what I have. So you have name and instructor. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to right click and connect data. So I'm going to connect this data to name. I'm going to connect this data to instructor. I can put name again right here. So, I mean, you can use them, you know, you can use the same ones wherever you want to. It'll just fill in whatever data is on your CSV file. Now, I do want to warn you of one thing. Let's say I'm here and I'm like, oh, dang it, I forgot to put a text box because I want something else. So, I'm going to add a text box here and then move it where I want it to be. Now, if you right click, you're not going to see connect data. You have to be under apps, bulk create, and you have to have a um active csv file if you want to put it that way like if i right click i'm still not going to see connect data i have to come back to upload bloop bloop and then i'll see connect data so i just want to point that out it's a pretty common mistake all right so now i'm here i'm ready so i'm going to hit continue and it's going to ask me hey do you want all of these you know, put in there, you know, uh, Mary Smith is with Dr. D, Juan Sanchez is with Dr. M, do you want all of these? So I may say, no, I don't want that one. Or you can just pick and choose. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you to create all 35 designs. So I'm gonna say generate 35 designs and watch the magic happen. There you go. So it put the instructor, it put the name, and notice I can still like change it, it's not set in stone. But if I scroll down, now I have certificates for everybody. Yay! And there you go. So notice what happened though. You remember I typed my name right here? Because some of these, I told it to put instructor here, my name will be gone because this person didn't have an instructor with them on the CSV file. So just keep that in mind that if something like data is missing, it will be missing on here. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then I can come here to share. And of course you have the 50,000 ways to share, but I can go ahead and download all of my certificates as a PDF, because maybe I want to print them. Notice you can do all the pages. I may just want to, you know, I may want to come here and say, not all, you know, not, wait, how do I uncheck everything? There you go. Uh, check all, uncheck all. And then I can come here and just print, you know, or download the ones I want to download. And then go ahead and click download. So there you go. That's how you can use bulk upload on all of your personalized stuff in Canva. And notice because I used it, it's going to be kind of sitting right here waiting on me next time. Um, and let's use a whole bunch. So, but right now it's sitting there waiting on me and I can come here instead of going to apps, scrolling down and going to bulk upload. 
don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Good luck.